Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to go over how to enable or assign the extra channels of the GT3B once you have the alternate custom firmware installed. If you want to know how to install the hacked custom firmware to enable more channels and features, check out the video I did a few years ago. Along with that video, I also have another tutorial that details how to configure the new features. Check that out too if you want to get familiar with the custom firmware. This video will outline how to assign and use the extra channels from the custom firmware Obviously, in order to use the extra channels, you will need a receiver that has the necessary number of channels. Again, I'll have links to where you can buy the 6-channel or 8-channel receivers in the description. I'm going to be demonstrating this with the Turnigy GTX3, which is pretty much the same thing. It's just a rebranded uh, Flysky GT3B, so I'll just refer to it as a GT3B from now on. These radios are really affordable and can be hacked and modified. On this radio, along with the custom firmware, I also have the voltage regulator mod for better battery efficiency so it lasts longer. I also have a LiPo installed instead of uh, AA's. The GT3Bs are really affordable and has tons of features once modded. Like I said, in order to use the extra channels and features, you will have to have the custom firmware installed and you can quickly check that once you turn on your transmitter. Long press the enter button and then you should be into this menu where you see the firmware version. So it's 061 at the time of this video. This hasn't changed over the last few years. So um, you'll also see the model and name uh, blink back and forth and that's when you know you're in this sub menu of the custom firmware. And here is the default number of channels you want for the models. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to set it to eight. If you don't ever use more than say three or four, you can set it here. Like I said, for the purpose of this video, we're going to choose eight and then you want to hit enter. And then what you want to do is get out of this menu by hitting the end button. And the very first thing we're going to do is select an empty model, hit enter, and then choose an empty model slot that you aren't using. So for me, it's uh, model number three. Hit enter to select it. And then you want to hit enter again. And then you want to highlight the name and hit enter. And we're just going to give this a really simple name. I'm just going to uh, put triple B. So the one downside of the GT3B is that you only have three characters to name a model. So that can be very limiting. But unfortunately, the way the display is, you can't really have more characters. So after you do that, hit the back button. Then you want to hit enter quickly and then move over to name and hold down the enter button, long press it, and then you'll enter this uh, hidden menu for the custom firmware. And C stands for channel. And currently, because we set the default channel to eight, there will be eight available channels. So uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to choose eight. Uh, but you can choose the maximum amount of channels for this model. And the next option is R, which is to reset the model. We're not going to do that. So hit back. So now I'm going to show you how to map a channel to some buttons. So you want to hit enter and then go over REV and then hold down the enter button to get into the custom firmware uh, menu and it'll start blinking. So one is the trim buttons for steering, those ones right here. And the number two is the trim buttons for the throttle, uh, which you can assign to. And three is the trim buttons for uh, channel three. D is the dual rate buttons over here. And then C is the button for channel three, which is located near the handle. And then B is the uh, back button and E is the end button. So those are all the buttons that you can assign a channel to. So in this demonstration, I'm going to assign the steering trim buttons as a channel. So uh, hit enter. And from here, you can scroll through the various options. So the only channels that you can reassign are three through eight. Channels one and two cannot be reassigned. They're reserved for steering and throttle, which are tied to the trigger and the steering knob. So we're going to choose channel eight to assign to these uh, steering trim buttons. Hit enter. And the next option is the behavior of the button. So NL stands for no long press. Instead of that, I'm going to use auto repeat. So every time that I hold down the button, it'll increment the value. So that's the behavior I usually use for my buttons. And then what you want to do is uh, hit enter. And then this is the incremental value. Every time you push the button, it'll go up by this value. So you can choose between 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 100. And uh, for me, I'm just going to leave it at one, hit enter. 
And now this is where you can choose whether you want to uh, reverse the keys or not. So um, I'm just going to leave it default. And then next is opposite reset. So if you increase the value and then you push the opposite direction, it will reset to zero. So I like this behavior. So I'm going to change that to a one, which enables it. And that's pretty much it in terms of uh, assigning a channel. If you have other channels that you want to assign to a different set of buttons, you can do the same procedure that I just showed you. Like I mentioned before, keep in mind that channel one and two can't be reassigned since it's tied to the steering and throttle, the trigger and the steering knob. So channels can only be assigned to the buttons that are on the GT3B. Once you're assigning all the channels, make sure you get out of this uh, setup screen. So hit end. Uh, hit end again. As you can see, the steering trim buttons are now assigned to channel eight. Now I can increment the values here. If you hit the opposite direction, it will quickly reset to zero. And that's the behavior we set when we uh, enabled opposite reset. So if you don't want this, you can disable it in the channel assignment or mapping uh, settings that I showed you previously. So that's how you remap or assign channels to the buttons on the GT3B. I'll have links to everything I mentioned in the description of this video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.